Welcome back to another episode of Jurassic Survival. Today we return to boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We are back in the brand spanking new update that has brought along with it quite a lot of things. Obviously, numero uno. Well, that's the fact that we now have pet dinosaurs that we can actually hatch and grow from scratch kind of i mean they come in the form form of an egg what came first the dino or the egg the world may never know but we know where we can find some of these eggs the bunker we're gonna be heading over there in just a little bit but first things first today i want to tackle the hunter's diary a little bit more because in case you boys and girls do not know this is kind of like the season pass i believe this is like the first season for jurassic survival our favorite dinosaur oriented survival game we're in the midst of playing we've made a little bit of progress over here with some of the main quests but we've yet to tap into the premium tasks and i definitely want to because there's some really good stuff at stake including well the best stuff being dinosaurs and some good loot along the way so without further ado i reckon that we uh ball out a little bit shall we you love to see it, especially given the fact that just from the first level alone, we got ourselves an egg that we're going to go and have a little bit of eggly fun with because it's time for us to hatch a brand new dinosaur in addition to some other stuff that's going on over here. But I definitely want to hatch as many dinos as possible because the pet system in Jurassic Survival is a bit different from some of the other mobile survival games out there because I don't think there's any breeding whatsoever just whenever you hatch a dino they just randomly have a certain amount of uh whatchamacall perks or something like that at least that's my understanding of things so without further ado let's hop over hither and i believe that we got one velociraptor egg awaiting us then we're gonna go ahead and that is not where we put the egg that's where we put the food we will put the food right into there now we will insert the incubator it's gonna go ahead and hatch in about three days, but guess what? We gonna ball out a little bit. And let's hatch Romeo, Romeo. Oh my dear, Romeo. Romeo, you are gonna be a blue little fella, my guy. And I'm gonna do my best to try and get you a Juliet. Don't you worry. Your boy Star is on the case. But without further ado, we also got to uh, grow Romeo up, which also would normally take some time, but because well, we out here. I want to try and show off absolutely as much as possible for y'all. Let's skip that growth phase. And he's only a rank one. Disappointing. However, he does actually do increased damage from what his uh, little thing does. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Still not as cool as our freaking Triceratops over here with the double perkitude, but... Let's bring Romeo out for a spin. I still have no idea if it, like, I I do not believe that it's possible to breed them or to level them up. I do not want to release the dinosaurs either. Like, I don't know if that's going to be something that's going to be coming down the line to the game. That's kind of what I feel like would happen because, like, currently you cannot level up the dinos, which is a bit of a bummer. Unless I'm just being blind as a bat, which honestly is always a possibility but along with that we have now unlocked some brand new tasks that we're going to be able to tap into for now we only have week one unlocked but there are many a weeks to go lads but there's some pretty nice tasks over here like crafting 10 hatchets 10 pickaxes and 10 band-aids that's why i got this random assortment of random stuff your boy star is gonna get to crafting band-aids but a boom but a bing I'm on it, baby, because this will come in handy for, well, the shenanigans that we're going over to Laboratory Alpha for. Because Laboratory Alpha... Oh, there's no, like, sound effect when we finish a quest? Man, I'm not gonna lie, that's a bit disappointing, but... We gotta level up! Lucky number seven! I expect and anticipate more levels coming. But yeah, definitely want these band-aids regardless because Laboratory Alpha, the location that we are going to be going to, it's a rather dangerous one. We definitely gotta play it a little bit on the safe side by, well, having a way to heal. That's usually a good way to be safe. 
because this is a game where you take damage and we want to prevent that damage taking to the best of our ability. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to probably have to put away some of these hatchets because I got way too many for my own good over here because now that we got those hatchets crafted up, we also require some pickaxes. And this, was, this just got a nice... I guess because now we're just gonna have a nice little stockpile of hatchets and pickaxes just ready to go for the future because this quest kind of literally explicitly encouraged us to craft 10 a pop of both of these things so that's the wrong way for some reason i want to go left to right but we should be going right to left now let's go and actually get our inventory back to the way it ought to be filled to the brim and teeming with some guns that we're going to use in laboratory alpha to help us with the uh uncooperative specimens that can be found over there aka the dudes who are going to be trying to kill us there, there there are quite a lot of those i think they have like fan club meetings over at laboratory alpha only possible explanation that or just all of their mutations and whatnot do stem from there and as y'all can see we got all three premium tasks leveled up let's get all the levels that we can and oh baby we got ourselves some combat gear coupons which is low-key huge oh not to mention a deagle oh, ho, ho. We got some good loot we're about to collect, but back to what I was saying, you guys can see that we got to do 5,000 damage with melee weapons and kill 20 mutants in Laboratory Alpha, so we should be able to do that pretty well, and then we can put the hatchets and pickaxes to use for those two quests, and we also just got to grow some pineapples. That's all good. Pineapples are cool. I like pineapples. Oh, hello, strange, mysterious plant that makes me feel strange. Let me get closer to you, because this plant is freaking magical but there's nothing that i want from the plant at the moment i was hoping maybe i could get like a melee damage boost or something doesn't look like the plant's offering that in its current coverage plan a little bit disappointed but gotta roll with the punches when you can let's start making our way over to laboratory alpha after we collect some of what we just got because these combat gear and ration coupons are both going to be perfect because now we actually have enough to open up the combat gear box it takes 10 of those hard drives i don't know what they have on those hard drives probably freaking like bitcoin or something i'm surprised it's still valuable in this post-apocalyptic world or pre-apocalyptic i don't know there's a lot of dinosaurs i know that for a fact and before we head over there i'm gonna go to the airdrop because i want to see my new dino friend and for whatever reason dinosaurs just do not follow us to laboratory alpha like they're just like oh i'm not going over there probably because that is where there are literally mutated dino humanoids that i think we're experimented on so you know i don't think the dinos want to be close to that they probably got some pretty bad memories from there but romeo romeo oh my dear romeo let's see just how good you are at inflicting this damage i've heard that you're capable of doing attack this zebra Oh, nice he does four damage you love to see it that's enough romeo that's enough let's let's calm down over here defend me romeo there's a dilophosaurus coming my way do what you do please oh no Woo! okay well, i'll just start kind of like helping you out a little bit there romeo now you do the finishing blows with your four damage a pop obviously romeo can get into these tussles as well but romeo does the killing romeo is the one who knocks mother trucker and he just knocked that dude out, I think, or killed him. Looks more like a kill. He really likes chasing his zebras. Romeo, keep up the great work, buddy. Hello. Love what I'm seeing over here. Oh, now Romeo appears to have angered an Orneoliosis. Dude, we got a conga line of freaking dinos going on. We got Romeo chasing a zebra. I don't think a zebra is a dino, but we got Romeo chasing a zebra. Yo, Romeo, do the kill shot, baby. You got, you got permission to go. Well executed, Romeo. That's enough from you for today. You love to see it, man. Like, seriously, I wish we could bring him along with us, though. It'd be nice to have a little handy companion, because, well, let's be honest. B Laboratory Alpha is probably the toughest location out there currently that we got to worry about. So, like, I don't know. It just makes sense for us to be as well prepared as possible. For all the bad stuff that is probably gonna go down but i'm really i'm seriously so excited to pop this open just the first time we've actually had enough of these coupons and enough of these mixtape cds to actually pop some of these uh crates open and these crates that i'm talking about 
I believe are the key to getting more dinosaur eggs, more, uh, whatchamacallit, of those heat lamps, which we can actually use to power the incubator when we're trying to hatch an egg. Like, I like the little twist that they put into the whole pet system. Obviously, them being dinosaurs is freaking cool. But, uh, whatchamacallit, since this game, Jurassic Survival, does have some support from the last day on Earth developers, I do believe that they are actually working together in some sort of a capacity. That, which is obviously awesome to hear because I've always been a fan of Jurassic Survival and to know that they're getting official support from kind of like the OG mobile survival game. Definitely some good news if you ask me. And oh man, last time we came here, this river was literally like frozen over for like the winter holiday. It was kind of like a cool little touch. It ain't frozen no more. Now check it out. Cool little thing. We're gonna be attacked by dinosaurs. That's not the cool part. The cool part is, is that we can actually run away. We normally might need to actually deal with those dinosaurs, but from what some of y'all were saying in that comment section of some prior videos, apparently when entering the laboratory, you don't need to actually kill those dinos. You just kind of uh, skiddity boop pop daddle on out of there. And then you just skiddity boop pop daddle on back in. Next thing you know, I believe the dinos should have migrated south for the winter or something like that. And what you know, what you know, baby? I believe the door to be wide open. Welcome back to Laboratory Alpha, which hopefully is going to be seeing an update sometime soon as well. I can definitely see another floor. Hopefully, I want to see another floor get added to Laboratory Alpha because it is currently one floor. But moment of truth time, baby. Oh, hello, Dr. Freeman. You should be developing Half-Life 3 right now. But instead, here we are. Why? I don't know. Let's activate some trades, though. And now we can tap into literally what looks like a chest with a biohazard inside. That just seems intimidating. Let's see what these things have in store for us. And then let's go on a little bit of a dino mutant killing spree down on the floors below. No dinosaurs, man? That's a little bit disappointing. We got some pretty good raw resources. Also, I'm not gonna lie, it's just kind of hard because like, it's hard to take everything in because it looks like it just randomly scattered throughout. But okay, we got a couple of pretty nice guns over here, a couple of augs, a little bit of Kalashnikov 47 action, what appears to be most pieces of a set of armor. Okay, we got that. What about the yellow chest? No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Show me what you got. Come on, baby. Uh, uh, just more raw resources. I was informed that dinos can be found down here. It appears that I was terribly, terribly mistaken. Maybe we can find them from exploring the floor itself. I hope that's the case, man, but at least we do have a lot of good raw resources we can tap into, and we are getting some pretty nice guns. I'm not one to complain about the guns that we are acquiring in. Well, we need three more of the stuff to go ahead and pop that last one open, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of food, a little bit of band-aid. Honestly, I'll grab these first aid kits too. Might as well. That's a good thing to stockpile if you ask me. Uh, do I need more armor? My hat and shoes did break. So honestly, I'll put on the hat and shoes. We ain't got a hat from here, but I'll, should, I'll put on them fancy pantalones shoes. Fancy pants shoes, I guess. They're not really pantalones, because they're literally, well, for our feet or something. Throw out mechanic. I don't have the required tools. Come back later. Hey, if you say so, man, I don't know what you're scheming over there. But I'm interested. That looked like he had a little workbench going there, dude. If we could actually modify our guns over here, if he's working on like a little gun modding bench, that is gonna be some Gucci McSwaggins. But all right, we definitely wanna check out what all of these chests do have. We don't have a lot of inventory room, but worst case, we can always come back, double back and grab some of the stuff that we might leave behind. But I definitely want to get to the bottom of, oh my God. Well, I wanna get down to that floor because it looks like this floor below us has, it looks like it's on red alert, dude. It's a significantly more red than down here. And they got some mutants, they are on patrol. They're on patrol. And speaking of which, we're gonna sneak attack these dudes into oblivion due to the fact that they are on patrol. Speaking of which, this guy is on patrol. Speaking of which, I'm equipping this thing. Why would that be, Star? Because the sneak attack power of this axe? Ho, ho, ho. 
it'll do a lot of damage, which is good because we gotta do a lot of melee damage so we can save some melee weapon durability by just sneak attacking the bejesus out of these dudes. So, Mr. Hulk, I am sorry, but today I am the one who smash the back of your head in. And then let's go for a little bit of range damage and finish him off with a little bit of melee. Because I'm kind of YOLOing it a little bit. I really want that extra slot, man. I've been spoiled by some of the other mobile survival games we play, like Last Day on Earth. I need that extra pocket so I can actually switch between guns and also, like, actually, you know, do stuff. Oh, okay, so this mutant, this uh, machete. Eh, we're not going to be able to do enough damage with that. Let's just try to kill him. One fell swoop, y'all. Boop. See you later. And then I think if we play our cards right, we can... No, he noticed us. That's okay. Bop. He's a goner. He's donezo. Nice. And we're collecting some of these ration coupons. If the ration coupon of all things gets us some eggs... I don't even know what to say. This shelf tends to be really good. Let's freaking go. Why is this shelf so good? The world may never know, bro. This is like a mystery on the level of a freaking Tootsie Pop. But this shelf is constantly loaded with good gun. I like a good gun. Hello. My name is Star. I like a gun. Yes. Nice to meet you. All right. I will grab the Band-Aid for time being as well. I will use Band-Aid. And then I will grab these rocks. Those are nice rocks. It's not every day that I compliment rocks yet. Well, here we are. But to those of y'all that are playing Jurassic Survival, whether it be maybe a return to the game, now that you guys and gals have seen potentially what this update has in store and the fact that the update is global, because when we last checked it out, we were actually alpha testing the update, so it wasn't out and like globally released to everybody. But now it is global, so everyone can check it out. So I don't know. Let me know what you boys or girls uh, do think about it in that case. No, don't spit. Ah, oh, he got the spit off. That's unfortunate. Woo. We got a CD that we don't have inventory room for. Well, I got a solution. Let's just use some gun, y'all. Boom! Let's finish these dudes. Oh, we cannot use too much gun, though. Because that's when things kind of hit the fan. That's when we start missing. I always forget, man. Misses are a thing we got to account for in Jurassic Survival. Before the 2.0 update, that wasn't a thing. Now it's a thing, you know? So we just got to be a little bit cautious of it. Come on, baby. Let's take out this scavenger number one. Boop, hit him a little bit. Run away. Sayonara, mother trucker. And we'll go over to loot them up, collect all the different resources they are dropping. We're well on our way to level 71. Some levels are always nice. A wrench! That's a good resource to be picking up. I ain't gonna lie. I will actually leave behind the box site for now. I will probably come back, though. Because there is a lot of stuff we got to pick up, baby. I do think as well, we gotta keep our eyes peeled. Yeah, the mixtape CDs. Bro, we gotta clear out some inventory room. That's gonna be the play. Honestly... We'll use the scar. We'll use the machete. Let's just do as much damage as we can to this guy over here and hopefully not die. Oh, hold on. He's got reinforcements coming. Oh, okay. Okay. That guy's exploring down this hallway. Let's watch out. I don't know how far along this hallway he goes, but I'm going to be a little bit careful. Heal up a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now I will get back to a melee tussle. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Oh, this is the thug. It's a big dude. Bah! Doesn't matter. I don't care how big you are. I don't care how small you are. Because you are about to be very, very dead once I am done with you, Mr. Thugosaurus Rex. Woo! And we continue blowing through the durability that this thing has to offer. you love to see it. All right, now that we cleared out a little bit of inventory room, let's definitely pick up some of these. So now we have access to the three main resources that the zombies, not zombies, they're not zombies. They are uh, the other thing, dinosaurs, that the dinosaurs themselves do drop. Let's heal up a little bit and then take this dude out. Bop! Okay, this other guy's gonna notice us very unfortunate, but that's okay. He's not the toughest dude. Do I really need to go to the bathroom right now? Now is not the time for a bathroom break. I'm literally beating the Jesus, out of a zombified, dinosaurified humanoid. But now that the bejesus has been beat, hold on. Let me get to spreading some of these vitamins, boy. There you go. Ah! That's like relieving yourself in a nice uh, hallway where what appears to be unspeakable horrors have gone on and incredibly just spooky dinosaur mutations. Yeah, it's the prime location to be relieving yourself of some vitamins, you know? Okay, good. That does stack past 20. That's good. We only need 20 tickets, but it stacks past 20. Less up. All right. 
Now it is time to go back to our wombo combo. We got the pistol battle axe here. We're gonna be using this for the cleanup. Let's pick up that box right there. Uh, oh, I'm gonna check out this toilet. It's got a dead dude. Usually this dead dude actually has some decent stuff. I guess if you die pooping, your clothes just stay perfectly intact. Although he looks absolutely petrified. Looks like he's halfway through a dinosaur transformation or something. And then he just died of explosive diarrhea. Cause that looks very explosive, my dude. I'm just saying. Whew. That's like C4 levels of explosives, you know? Okay, this guy is not gonna be coming peacefully. Oh, although, that guy over there seems to have not noticed us. I like these. We might be able to play this to our advantage. No advantage playing! Abort! Abort! Okay, it's okay. We can still deal with this fella relatively nicely. We don't gotta worry about healing because we got the power of ranged weaponry. I just double back a little bit. Try to minimize the amount of damage we're taking. And then once we get him down to about 60, we'll finish him off with the Battle X. So we continue accumulating a little bit of that melee damage. And we're continuing to kill some of these mutants, which is good. I've only killed four mutants. What? Oh, those are a specific type of zombie, not zombie, dino hybrid, aren't they? I think that is exactly what they are. Okay, well, we got some of them on our case now. I think that is the mutant, the dude that's following us. Yeah, that's him. That is him, my compadre. Pop! Let's finish you off. A couple shots into you. Pop! And you get finished as well. Now, our best bet, though, sneak attacks with this battle axe are going to do a lot for us progressing. Because what's my call? It's like 180 damage a pop for every successful sneak attack. Like this guy, a sayonara. One fell swoop, you go kaput. You in your massage chair, guess what? Oh, I'm looting your massage chair. What do you got inside of here, huh? A little armory stashed? No, just some cigarettes and scrap metal. I don't know what I was expecting. I thought that there would be like a minigun or something in there. Like, come on, I'm just saying. Think about it. No one would ever expect it. A minigun and a massage chair? But Which makes it the perfect place for it to go down. Now, all right, we're gonna weaken up this thug just a little bit, double back a little bit, because he does do a lot of damage. I don't like taking a lot of damage. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep! And then, whoop! Finish him off before he does that little bit of damage to us. Continue using these band-aids that we crafted up for just the occasion. And honestly, ah, uh, I don't know. This vector is a lot of durability, man. I don't want to use that. I'd rather just keep using the pistol. It is on the brink of breaking. Ah, I thought the scavenger maybe could be dealt with. Bop. And see you later. See, the reason I'm not using the battle axe for all the kills is just like, I do like using it as like the cleanup because it does so much damage in one fell swoop. Nice. Oh, I thought he would have noticed us there for a second. I don't know. I just like not wasting. Oh, we're getting smelly. Dude, that's not good. That's not good for business. We're not going to be able to sneak attack people if we smell bad enough. I'm just saying. I don't like the way this is going. To make up for it, I demand good loot. Is there a dino egg in one of these fridges? Maybe? No, but they are storing fancy rocks. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure that's the back of a kitchen. Are they putting rocks in the food? Oh my god, dude, they were really running some messed up experiments in here, you know what I mean? All right, we'll continue grabbing some of these supplies. Again, I'm not permanently abandoning the loot, but we will be able to come back here potentially naked, probably with our guard down, and literally grab everything our hearts could desire. Bro, what is that literal trash? Wow. Well, I was not expecting to see that yet. Here we are. Boop. Okay, we got a predator here and this other dude. Oh no, that guy's on patrol. Oh man. Oh man. Oh shucks. This is not how I wanted things to go down. What a predator. Bop. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is not going well. Cause we've taken a lot of damage. Okay, hold up. Let's just uh Oh! There we go. Okay, we got around the corner over there. Let's heal up a little bit. Woo! Close calls. Close calls all around. Dude, that could have gone so badly. I honestly forgot for a split second that I was kind of doing this little rotation. But it's, it's all good. It's all good. We continue clearing out these rooms. We're doing a good job. This person over here also, man, 
are they doing explosive diarrhea tests here? Because everyone looks like they just pooped out 50 gallons of blood. Hello! You have a very nifty gun stashed here, my good sir. May I say you have exquisite taste in the finest of things? Well, I'd never. It is rather glorious. All right. This the guy over here I want to sneak attack. Because usually the hall patrols. Listen. Man, if being a hall monitor back in fifth grade taught me anything... Uh... Well, it, it kind of sucks, because I didn't get to go to recess, and I and I had to do it. Like, in fifth grade, everyone had to have some kind of a job. Yeah, I know. In fifth grade, bro, they were already forcing us to work. Yeah, my job was being a hall monitor. I didn't get to go to morning recess. I was big, big mad. And yeah, boop. Let's get a big hit off on the Hulk over here, get a little bit more damage, and then finish the job before he does anything to us. You know what? That's maybe why I want to do so much sneak attack damage to these hall monitors, man. I'm just trying to get some vengeance in. Hall monitors have personally affected me throughout my life, man. What can I say? Oh, this is the conference room. Okay. I like the conference room. Check it, check it. We can be real sneaky deaky like in the conference room. Don't mind me, just going over here, working on my meeting, big business stuff, beep bop, beep boop, uh, just reorganizing some chairs, you know, don't mind me, just doing businessy stuff, and floop! Oh, what's that, your friend died in front of you because of a battle axe to the back? Yeah, I had nothing to do with that. Oh, what am I holding in my hand? Definitely not a battle axe. And it's definitely not going in your back, don't know what, don't know what you're talking about. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Oh, hold on. Let me let me get behind this thing here. <clears throat> thank you all. Thank you one. Thank you all for coming to my TED talk. Now, if you will, please go away. All right. Let's see what we got stashed up in this podium. More guns per se? Eh, no, there is not the gun. We definitely got to go back and grab that other gun in a second. We'll do that after we kill this dude over here because, yep, we got a couple of them that we got to worry about. I'll just do as much damage as possible and try to finish it. They're not doing too much damage to us, so not too much of a rush on my end. But this melee weapon is on the brink of destruction. We might barely miss out. Oh, dude. If we barely miss out on doing enough melee damage? Oh, bro. Don't speak that evil into existence. Not allowed. That is illegal. But, bro, I, I freaking love Laboratory Alpha, man. I can't wait for, like, more floors and whatnot to come to the game as well. I'm just going to finish you off with this vector. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get finished off first, and I can no longer sneak attack. Are you serious? Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, the battle axe is going to break soon anyway, so... Yeah, I don't know. Not the biggest deal in the world, but... Man, it doesn't feel good to have that happen to you, you know? So, uh, what we gotta prepare for, and we're getting the big guns out for this. Ho, ho, ho. We got freaking alligator arms over here. What's up? Not Thug. The Chimera. Yeah, that's right. We can't really sneak up on him, unfortunately. Oh, we can. Never mind. No. No, we cannot. Oh, my God. He does 31 damage. I forgot just how terrifying this thing is. Good thing we got the Kalashnikov 47 ready to bring you to your doom, Mr. Alligator Arms. Damn, baby! Woo! We gotta level up. He dropped some Bitcoin. Life is good. Life is really good. We are barely short of the damage. That's okay. We can clean that up next time. That we get a melee weapon. Maybe from here. Maybe there is melee weapon in supply closet. No, just another wrench. I'm not complaining. Wrench is cool. Wrench is very cool guy. Yeah, and I'm probably just gonna use this AK. We'll clean up the rest of this rather, rather swiftly. That's right, Phil Swift here. And it's time for me to show you the brand new Star Snipe brand, OxyClean. It cleans up a bunker floor like nobody's business. What's that? Zombies? Bah! Wait till you see what Star Snipe can do to Bunker Alpha. What's that? Zombified dino mutants that may or may not actually be zombified. I'm just so used to calling these things zombies. Bah! Absolute pushovers. With the power that Star wields in his hands, he who controls whatever Star controls, controls the universe. So lucky, lucky me. 
Because we in control, baby. Oh, let's go, dude. This is a really good run in terms of getting those hard drives, too. Usually, we get like one to two per floor run. Today? Man, we're feeling a little extra lucky. Working a little bit ahead. Still haven't found no freaking egg. Okay. If that could change, that'd be great, please, and thank you. I promise I won't make an omelet out of it. I genuinely want to hatch some dinosaurs. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Now give me eggs. Okay. Okay, glad we could settle on that. What's up, my dudes? Mutants! You are dead. How am I doing on the mutant progress? 8 out of 20? If there's like two more in this floor, odds are we probably are going to have to do another laboratory alpha run to get all the mutant kills that we need. Potentially two. We'll see how things go. But regardless... Oh, let's go! Dude, that's where we can get a ceramic lamp? Okay. I'm a fan. So the actual floors themselves might have the loot. Maybe an egg inside of here. Let's freaking go! That's exactly what Laboratory Alpha has in store. Whoa! Hold up. Now, I do gotta ask. Are there more eggs? Is it actually gonna be somewhat easy to get eggs? Ah, dang it. Me, I don't know. Even if we just get two eggs out of a single Laboratory Alpha run, that'd be crazy. Man, it's not looking too loco at the moment, though. Unfortunate if I do say so myself. Let's loot up this third one. See what it's got. Then we still got one or two? One or two more rooms that we gotta clear out. Dude, we're getting a couple of steel bars. So that's good. Steel bars? I don't think we can really craft them. They are mainly something that we actually gotta loot up. So, hey, I'm more than happy to find them like that. Definitely gonna come in handy. Hey, hey. No, 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 no. No speed thing allowed. That's illegal. We could even use a little bit of Winchester here. Mix it up. What's up, Hulk? Bop. 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 Man. This Winchester? Way better than the last day on Earth Winchester, man. I mean, it only does 23 damage a pop, but... I'm just saying... It doesn't take 50 years to fire. It actually has, like, a decent fire rate associated to it. I'm a fan. Let's get some of these floppy, floppy discs. Oh, let's see what's over here in this room. Probably some zombies. Not zombies. They're dinos. I seriously got to remember that. I don't know why my small brain. Sorry, guys. Today ain't a big brain type of day. Today's small brain. Because I just cannot remember for some reason that these guys are not zombies. I guess I just play too many zombie games. And everything that I shoot is a zombie. All right. So if you ever catch me shooting at some, like, I don't know, empty cans in a backyard and screaming die zombies... Uh, listen, it makes sense in my head, okay? <laughs> That's all that you gotta know. Now, this looks like a laboratory type of room. Maybe some more eggs? No, dude, we're finding a lot of wrenches, though. And wrenches, like, they're not the most common thing in this game. And also, like, I don't know, I'm not gonna lie. Last day on Earth, they're also a pain to get. Because if you do not have wrenches, they're not easily acquirable. From like the last two and a half years of playing Last Day on Earth, I have learned that lesson. Hello. I like. I like this a lot. Well, well, well. Hello to you. Okay, hold up. And I do want to see. Is there anything? Did I loot this yet? No, I didn't. Okay, I thought so. This looks like an equipment room. Maybe some kind of equipment. Yeah, but not my type of equipment. Unfortunate. That's okay. We will move on. We will prosper. We will pretend this never happened. Now we still got a couple of zam not zombies, mutants over here that we gotta deal with. Let's put this Winchester to use. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna blow through the rest of this Winchester. Get all the bang for our buck that this durability can offer us. Yeah, the what up, thug? Can I shoot you now? There you go. Glad we could come to agreement on that. Hold up. Can we just like? No, I thought I could do the little wall glitch on him. No, he's a little too smart. Like I'm saying, I'm the small brain today. These guys got the big brain. Ho, ho, ho. But okay, this is good news, because I actually wanted to clear up one inventory slot. At least. Let's definitely grab that egg. And then I'll go back. I'm definitely going to grab the steel bars. But, dude, let's go. We got the egg. So we are, like, we can't just 
Okay, I totally missed that hallway. We can't just go to the top floor to collect eggs. I think we need to find them. And I don't know if these have a chance of having eggs either. Maybe just the one box that we opened up is the one that can spawn in eggs? I, we, we're gonna have to see how that all ends up unfolding. That's gonna be definitely interesting to keep an eye on. Also, I'm just gonna start chowing down on this food as our main source of healing, just so we can heal a little bit less. Or not heal a little bit less, but clear up the canned food as an empty inventory slot. Just so we can maximize the amount of loot that we're bringing home with us. This Winchester that we picked up is on the brink of destruction, but we got some fun times. We got the memories to always remember the Winchester by. Unfortunately, I have goldfish memories, so those good memories won't last long. Oh my god, dude, this thug is breakdancing. Except I did. I did manage to touch it. Very violently, and then he died. Because I killed him. Yeah, I know. Well, actually, I don't know. I guess I never touched him. I just mainly shot at him from a distance. I didn't use a melee weapon. There wasn't, like, you know, physical contact. I like what I'm seeing here. This is very good. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, very cool. Very cool. I'm going to come back and grab those in a moment. Let's get that steel I was talking about. But I love the resources that we're getting. Because these will probably come in handy down the line as well. These are the types of resources we had to use to, uh, what should we call? Actually build... Uh, the ting. The tingy tingy mabob. Uh, that we had to use to build the incubator. That's what I was thinking of. So obviously, there, there's some precedent established that it's valuable. And that just means it's going to be good for us to stockpile. So we're being very productive here, not just with acquiring eggs for hopefully getting the best dino pets imaginable. And I do want to see if we can get a triceratops egg as well, because this is just another velociraptor one. I ain't complaining. Probably going to be a cutie. You know, an adorable little dino buddy of ours. And what a mutant. I believe that officially marks 10 that we've killed in this run alone. So I do think that two runs should do the trick and we should be scot-free from that quest. We'll do a little bit more melee damage. Hello, beautiful. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. We still got a couple more, uh, whatchamacallit. We got to activate this thingy. That'll open up the hatch to the end. So we can make our way back to the elevator, go back up top side. Bloop. But there are, I believe, a couple more zombies we got to deal with. What's up, Hulk? I choose you. You are our lucky test subject for a nice, potentially lethal dose of death. Administered by none other than Pistol Drizzle. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's just keep on playing a little bit of that ring around the rosy. I don't want him getting no hits off on me. That's not how this works. No, 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 no. Ah! Okay, got one hit off. That was a pity hit. I let him do it. What can I say? In my benevolence, I allowed him one hit. He got one. And he did not use it well enough. What up, scavenger? Let's bring you to your doom and be beautiful. I'm not happy that the pistol broke, but I'm not upset about it either. Because all in all, this sets up... This sets us up perfectly, English is hard, <laughs> to collect the rest of the super valuables that we found throughout this floor, because definitely want some of that, definitely want some of that, and we got a few of the logs over here. And now, the awesome thing is that not only are we collecting these rare resources on top of the ceramic lamps every time we do a run, oh, no, 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 it's not that simple anymore, dude. Now, we also collect the eggs. And let me know in that comment section down below as well if you boys and girls have managed to find an egg in a location other than the one container that we found. Because I wonder if it's just like guaranteed to spawn in that one or if there's maybe a chance of that egg being in other locations as well. Because it kind of makes sense why it might be in that container because that looked like it was like a containment cell specifically for like an egg or something like that. You know, it, it, it might make more chest than just finding an egg in a random chest, you know? Bloop. Regardless, let's see what the final chest has in store for us. And without further ado, <gasps> no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Show me what you got. Let's. Oh, let's freaking go. Actually, not too shabby at all. Let's make sure that we take all the stuff that we can. It's a stack up, and 
Yo, we got some really good stuff we're gonna want to grab. Let me let me just change into my best clothes on the lickety split. Why don't we go ahead and swap into a fresh shirt? Yeah, dude. We actually got a lot of guns from these chests. We got the P90 and the carabine, the car 98. We got two augs and a Kalashnikov and the Magnum, a very powerful pistol. I am uh I'm pretty satisfied with how things ended up here. I don't know about you boys and girls. We walking out of here a little bit richer, you know? Might as well call me Richard at this rate. <laughs> my, my name's not Richard. I'm, I'm sorry. That would have been punny, though. It would have. It could have. It should have. But it wouldn't have. Because my name's not Richard. Maybe I'll get it legally changed just so I could make that pun. Legally. In the future. But time will tell. Regardless... We gotta make a return here at some point. And we got like, I, I'll probably just do it in my free time. We definitely gotta grab these guns. We gotta grab some stuff throughout the floor. And I gotta bring my butt home. Cause we got an egg to hatch. And alrighty y'all. We are officially back home. Oh no, he's going hungry. Well, that's unfortunate. But we back home. Let's get to hatching this egg and let's see what this Velociraptor might have in store for us. Bloop. Let's get to skipping. We got a new dino baby. Oh, his name's Rocky, dude. Rocky. Rocky Balboa. Coincidence? I think not. I think we're onto something. Let's go with orange. I don't think I have an orange baby yet. Let's send a Rocky to the crate. Theme. I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, I'm panicking. Ah, it's a rank one dino. Most unfortunate. Does have the jagged wounds, but that's about it. Man, that, like, I don't know. How could we level them up? Like, I wonder if they have a secret EXP bar or something. Like a secret experience bar that we don't know about. That maybe they'll just, like, slowly level up on their own. Because all of our Velociraptors have ended up being rank one. The Triceratops is rank two. Maybe this is like alluding towards, cause they can like, you guys saw that there's like four potential perk slots. Maybe there's gonna be four different types of dinos minimum and each dino has a certain amount of perks. That could potentially be something that's going on. I don't know though, I suppose time will ultimately tell with this one. Boy, that's it with that done. That's going to start wrapping it up. Follow me for now. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Have an awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.